Welcome everybody. On this video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB of Windows 11 that supports both GPT and MBR systems at the same time, using your mobile without root and for free. This new method will help you to create a bootable pen drive to repair or to install Windows 11 or any operating system. In addition to supporting both GPT and MBR, you can add many operating systems to the same USB and then select the desired OS to install later after booting from the USB. The video is divided to four main parts. How to download Windows 11 ISO from official Microsoft website. How to make a bootable USB of Windows 11 in Android mobile. Confirmation the functionality of the bootable USB pen drive. How to troubleshoot Ventoy app and USB connection to mobile. First, how to download Windows 11 ISO from official Microsoft website. Open the official download page of Windows 11 from the links in video description below. Scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image ISO section. Select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO option then click on download button. Select your preferred language then click on confirm button. You can select any language if you are planning to do a clean Windows installation, but if you want to upgrade to Windows 11, you have to select the language that is similar to the default system UI language of old Windows in your computer. To know the default system UI language in your computer, open the command prompt or Windows terminal as administrator and then execute this command. After selecting the desired language, click on 64-bit download button to start downloading Windows 11 ISO file. Download Win32UI.dll and cmd.txt files from the links in video description if your computer doesn't support Windows 11, otherwise, skip downloading both of these files. There is a video in description will show you how to know if your computer supports Windows 11 or not. Second, how to make a bootable USB of Windows 11 in Android mobile. Open Google Play Store and search for Ventoy app. Press on install button to install the app. It's worth noting that this app is a revolution in the field, because it is supports both GPT and MBR computers, supports both FET32 and NTFS disk format, supports creating one USB drive with multiple operating systems installations, not required a rooted device, in addition, the app is available with all functions working for free. Open Ventoy app. Connect the USB pen drive to your mobile and select to allow Ventoy to access it. As you can see, there is an option to create a bootable USB in GPT or MBR style, but both options work for me without problem in two laptops with different disk schemes. However, you have to select a GPT or MBR option based on desk scheme in your computer, especially if you have a GPT or UEFI system. To know what is the disk scheme in your computer, do the followings. Press Windows logo plus R keys to open run tool. Type MS Info 32 and press enter to open system information. Also you can open it by searching for sysinfo from search box. If BIOS mode is UEFI, then the disk scheme is GPT. If BIOS mode is legacy, then the disk scheme is MBR. Also see whether the secure boot is set to on or off so you can enable or disable secure boot support option in Ventoy app. Press on install icon to start installing boot files into the USB pen drive. As you can see, all data on the USB pen drive will be lost after pressing OK, so take a backup for your files before starting. The boot files are now installed on the USB as indicated by the version number next to Ventoy on device line. Press on copy icon. Press on the plus icon and navigate to which folder you have saved the ISO file of Windows 11 and other files. Select the ISO file and then press on select option to copy the file into the USB pen drive. The copying process may take short or long time based on the writing speed of your USB drive. If your computer doesn't support Windows 11, copy win32ui.dll and cmd.txt files into the main directory of the USB card. If your computer supports Windows 11, you don't need to copy these files. Also you can copy another operating system such as Windows 10 or Linux or any another operating system if you want to install another OS or to make dual boot. Now, the USB is ready to boot any computer from it to install or to troubleshoot boot failure of Windows 11, Windows 10, Linux, Ubuntu or any operating system. Third, confirmation the functionality of the bootable USB pen drive. To boot from the USB, do the followings. Power off the computer completely if it's powered on. Connect the USB pen drive to your PC. Power on the computer again. Once you see the manufacturer logo, immediately and repeatedly press F12 or another key from keyboard to enter boot options menu. 
This is the list of hotkeys to enter boot menu for different brands including laptops and desktops. In some brands, you may need to press and hold the key, while in others like Lenovo laptops, there is a separated key called Novo button to open Novo menu that include BIOS, boot, and system recovery sub-menus, this button is located next to the power button or next to the charger port, and can be pressed directly without pressing power button. So you may need to search Google to know which method will work in your model if the mentioned key is not working for you. Move to the USB option and then press enter to boot from the USB flash drive. If you have more than one operating system on the USB pen drive, select the desired one and then press enter. Press any key to continue if you ask to do so. Select the desired language then press next. From this screen, you can either click on repair your computer option to open advanced recovery menu, or click on install now icon to proceed to Windows installation. Refer to the video's links in video description if you need more details about how to boot from the USB flash drive or if you need to know how to install Windows 11 from the USB step by step. Fourth, how to troubleshoot Ventoy app and USB connection to mobile. The following hints will help you to fix all possible problems. First of all, make sure that your mobile supports USB on the go or USB OTG, which is the ability to connect to the USB pen drive, either by connecting a USB pen drive to it or by searching Google for your mobile model. In some mobiles like OnePlus, you have to enable USB OTG manually from system settings. Make sure that the USB is not corrupted by opening it by File Explorer app in your mobile or in the computer. Make sure that the USB port or adapter is not corrupted. Make sure that the USB pen drive is not write protected by password. Make sure to install the app from Play Store app and not from another store app or website, as the app is available in different editions for different architectures mobiles. Open Ventoy app before connecting the USB drive to your mobile. Reject any USB access request from other apps, and accept only Ventoy request. If the app failed to recognize the USB file system, format the USB drive using your mobile or computer in NTFS file system and try again. If the USB recognized by mobile but not recognized by Ventoy app, or if the app failed to install boot and settings files into the USB, clear the app data and force stop the app and then try again as followings. Press and hold on the app icon and select info. From storage option, clear data, and cache memory. Back to main menu and force stop the app. If the computer failed to boot from the selected ISO or image file, make sure of the followings. The ISO or image file was copied successfully into the USB, by comparing the size of copied file with original file, the ISO file is not corrupted by opening it in the computer or in mobile using RAR app. The settings of BIOS or UEFI firmware in your computer are set to allow booting from the USB drive. Watch the video from description below for more details. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.